going on everybody fishing with a chad here so two weeks ago i was down at my local bake shop that i like to go to uh, i was buying some uh buying a new reel for if d's out fishing she's out fishing me uh for her new medium action <coughs> muddy river rod um the bait shop owners had a new item in that they shared with me that i said i have to have that now anybody that does like skipjack fishing or for creole slicker i think you'd like this because if you're like me i hate sabiki rigs on my pole because of the simple fact they get caught in your carpet your anchor ropes anything and everything they get twisted in your other poles what have you um and you run a chance of what i did a, a couple months back is putting a sabiki rig through my finger or the palm of my hand uh because one broke off in my anchor rope and i didn't even know it this pole is an eight foot, and I hope I say it right, Sahi uh, Sabiki stick. So this is a RSB 800, so eight foot. They have different sizes. Uh, I know that they had a seven footer down here as well, but I went with the eight foot. Uh, when we go down to the dam, I like to try to be able to cast as long, far as I can for them. So um, I went with the longer one. Uh, I'm not sure if they come up with the six foot. I'd have to check on that. I have looked at them a little bit online. But <clears throat> again, support my local bait store. I wanted to buy this from them. So yesterday I went and picked this up. This is a three piece. It's actually got a bag that it comes with. It's got little slots for each, uh, each of the pieces. But it's pretty cool. You can use a bait caster or a spinning reel. So right now I have a spinning reel that I took off another pole for now. But I think I'm going to end up using a bait caster eventually with it as soon as I can find one I like to, to go on it. <clears throat> but the first section of it, this is the butt end of it. So it's got the uh, screw down onto it like a lot of the uh, normal poles you find. Piece number two, as you'll see, this pole has no eyelets on it whatsoever. So what happens is this piece goes down into the butt of the pole. And I'll go ahead and put that in there. So it slides down in there like that. Again, no eyelets. So what happens is you have your reel on here. The line will go through this and down into the shaft of the actual uh, pole. Okay? So that's piece number two to the eight foot Sabiki stick. Again, we have another three piece, right? So here's our third piece. No eyelets on this piece either. I'll go ahead and stick this one in. Pretty simple. The difference is the end of this pole, right? Well, another difference. Notice that it's got this, it's almost like the, have you ever used one of them blow darts, right? It's got one of those. So what happens is you run your line all the way down through here, tie on your sabiki rig, tie a sinker at the end. I know I use a, a sinker, probably a like a quarter ounce sinker or something like that to help cast, keep it straight while I'm wheeling it in. The nice thing about this, when you are done, and it recommends a size four hook or smaller, you reel the actual hooks all the way down into the shaft, and at the very end, your sinker will stop the uh, sabiki down inside it so no more pool noodles no more um, lines going everywhere getting hung up and everything i really like it you know there's uh, other ways to do it you can have little you know rubber bands all kinds of different stuff to tie it up this saves all that keep it nice and neat down in the shaft and you don't have to worry about it so i'm going to get this rigged up with a rod and a sabiki rig and we'll check it out So again, we'll put it through there. We're going to slide this down into the shaft of the pole. So if you're having trouble uh, when you get toward, to the third piece of it, getting a line to go through, you can always take it apart. And finish it off with this piece here and then as it comes out all 
as it comes out. Grab it, pull it out, keep it straight, and then put your poles back together. Or not, make sure you don't put the, uh, crease the line in there. You want that to be out. So, got my line through. Now I'm going to tie a sabiki on. All right, so got the pole all put together, got the reel on, got my sabiki tied on. The only uh, sinker that I could find on it to clip on the end was this quarter ounce, which I'll have you know the quarter ounce slides up into the shaft. So just FYI on that one, uh, but you'll be able to see what what I what I got going on here. I will say with this pole, it's a little bit bigger, thicker than what I would normally use, uh, but you know as far as your bend and stuff like that it has a little bend in it uh, but for casting I'll probably need a little bit bigger weight on it but I will step back here try not to hit myself on the hitch so let's see if we can get this as close as we can up here so it didn't go with my sabikis oh got a cord here <laughs> So my speakies go all the way up inside it. And I don't have to worry about all of my speakies wrapping on everything else. I got like one out. Now obviously with a sinker that's out of there, you'll be able to pull it out. But if you have a smaller sinker, you're going to have to do a little cast to get it out, but I like that the, uh, the sabiki reels up inside of it. I think it's pretty cool. So, again, the sabiki, the Sahi sabiki stick, 8 foot, RSB 800, if you're looking it up. I'll see if I can't find a link, and I'll put it in the description of the video. But, if you like to uh, use sabikis or sabiki style rigs, right? This would be a cool little setup. Like I said, pretty simple. Comes with a little patch if you want to uh, break it down. You can sort in your boat. I probably will not. Um, I'll take this when I actually go bait fishing. So appreciate you guys watching. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe if you already haven't. Greatly appreciate you all being uh, subscribers to the channel and supporting what we do.